My grandpa used to always say that being bored is ridiculous. There's always something to do. There's something to see, something to learn, something interesting in your life. And you can make those decisions to never be bored. I, I came to him when I was just a little kid. And I was just like, Grandpa, I'm bored. And he said, don't be ridiculous. Don't. It is such a ridiculous thing to say. I'm bored. And he's like, look at the world around you. Look at everything that can be done. And then he started showing me what he was working on. He was a carpenter and a real estate agent and <laughs> a business owner. And he ran a restaurant. He, he did everything. My grandpa was an amazing man. Very, very kind man. It was a very powerful moment to be at his funeral and to hear everyone's kind words about him. They, He impacted people's lives in a very positive way. And one of the most valuable, 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 the most valuable tools and rules and, and rules for life that he, that he ever gave me was to not be bored. Don't be bored. It makes no sense. It's like a it's like a silly thing you can say, and it makes sense when you're when you're a teenager <laughs> stuck in this town and it's the same thing over and oh I can't wait to get out of here. That's it's a little different <laughs> when people sit around and they don't have a hobby beyond looking at their phone. They don't have anything other than entertainment to fill their day. Like they can't wait to go home and watch TV. That makes no sense. That makes no sense to me. Because my grandpa told me to not be bored. I constantly have some kind of hobby or thing I'm building or doing or some kind of self-development I'm working on or book I'm reading because it's helping our relationship or <laughs> me as a person, or there's something I can learn or do, or man, I haven't been to the gym in 20 minutes. Let's go again. <laughs> he had a passion for life, my grandfather, that was contagious, that, <laughs> that was so powerful. Every day, he just wanted to know more and do more and see more. Have I read that book? No. Have I talked to this person? No. Could I rebuild this door frame? Yes. You know what would be cool? Let's go look at this new property. Oh, man, I can fix this up and help these people out. And then the sink broke, and I fixed that too right before dinner. My grandpa, an amazing man. And in a lot of ways, I strive to be like him. And the the key to all of it, really, I mean, there's there's so much more to who he was, but what really sticks out to me, just don't be bored. Don't let yourself fall into that trap, that mental trap that is totally an illusion, too, <laughs> of boredom. What is that? You have infinite possibility around you, infinite solutions to your boredom problem. Just go do something. Just find interest in something. Take a deep, deep breath. Take a moment and close your eyes and take a deep breath. And really focus on your breathing. And you realize that your breathing is interesting. Like there's, there, there is no such thing as boredom. It makes no sense. Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you for your wonderful lesson. Maybe it can help you too. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. And if I may.